Hey guys, it's Nick. Welcome to another episode of TMI's 365. Today's episode, I'm going to be giving you a demo of NCE Tracker. It's a little mini app I created to just simply help you transition from legacy CSP SKUs into the new NCE products that are launching January 10th. So as of today, that would be next week. And essentially, I built this app just simply because there's tons of complexities with NCE that you have to keep track of as far as the promotions, the price increases coming in March, changes to your PSA tool, customers who you may be moving direct because of liability concerns. So I wanted to have a little bit of programmatic functionality around that just simply to help you transition and mostly to stay organized and keep track of all the moves and renewal dates now as well too, just simply because you're gonna have potentially different anniversary dates per subscription that you have with your customers. So with that, let's go ahead and dive in. Okay, so we're here on the main landing page and I got here by going to ncetracker.com. Landing page is really just referencing the benefits of this tool, which reference the organization, the monitoring, and the timeline management that you have when you transition to NCE with this tool. Maybe some more information about NCE and a blog post that details out all the granular details or the various complexities that are included. If you were to click into these timelines here as well, it brings you to the documentation section as well here too, which reference these in a little bit more detail from the milestones that we are hitting throughout the year from price increases to the conversion dates when you have to have net new subscriptions on NCE to all subscriptions on NCE. So you can run through the documentation at will as well after this video. It'll be walking through everything that I'll be covering today from getting signed up all the way through completing companies within your organization. So whenever you go into the sign up section here, we're going to agree to the terms of use of using the app and it leverages single sign on with Microsoft. You can check these out as well too, which will open up a new window. Make sure you want to conform with that and then agree and move forward. This, once you create that, will ask you to read your profile within Microsoft so we can leverage single sign-on. That is the only supported method at this point in time. Once you do this, if you have uh, a first use case in the sense that you are the first user within your organization to leverage this app and you've never added companies, you'll see this messaging about adding companies here first to get started. If you have other users in your organization that have used NCE Tracker and they've added companies, you'll skip this step and move straight to the dashboard view just simply because it's unnecessary. So when you click on add company, it just allows you to add a name ad hoc or you can add companies with CSV, which I recommend. So within here, it's referencing the fact that the CSV doesn't contain any comma values. So just take note of that. You can do a quick find and replace in a CSV file to remove those comma values and you can download the sample here so you know the appropriate headers of which you will want to use when you upload the sample. This is something that you could probably pull from your distributor in the sense of a subscription table and the big pieces that the app is going to be looking for as far as the NC Tracker app is this company name and that's really it as, as far as making these new companies. So if you really wanted to, you could just simply do company names. But I think it's advantageous to put in their products as well too and quantities and renewal dates just simply because it helps you get a good start on what you're looking at to transition from an NCE perspective. So again, just take note, company names are the only required field but I would encourage you guys to put this information in so it'll just make the tool more effective for you. So if we go ahead and we exit out of this Excel file, I'm not going to save changes. And we go back here and we choose a file. I'm just going to choose that sample one just as an example. And I'm going to go ahead and submit it. This will take a few seconds, even if you have a lot of companies and subscriptions. I did over 300 and that took a few seconds to do. You'll notice here on your dashboard now you have your companies that were in that CSV and you have your cards here for your various statuses that you'll want to track as you move companies into NCE. So the timelines here will also be available from this page. You can track those as you complete your customers or get organized from this section. The main bulk of your work though after you import is coming from the company pages directly. This is where you can come and you can see various statuses like their legacy products that you uploaded here and then you can begin to perform certain actions like deciding if they're moving direct, making this toggle, 
as well as adding these new NCE products. So this is searching through a particular library here just for uniformity and you can also choose your term here. So I could say annual prepaid and I could say a quantity of three and I could say the effective date is Jan 11. I can go ahead and add this product. You'll notice down here that this is actually reflecting the promo as far as the 5% discount because it's within this date range. It's on this particular subscription and has these terms. So it's doing some intelligence behind the scenes to put these tags on there to help you out with the things that you need to pay attention to which relate to the promotions as well as price increases come March. Now let's say we want to add this E1 here. We'll go ahead and click on this and we'll choose the term of monthly, choose three, and then we'll put the effective date for March 9th. We'll click on add product. So you'll notice with this one here, we got promo and price increase because the price increases are coming on March 1st. You ordered this as far as the effective date goes, you converted it to NC on March 9th. And you also are particularly in the promo because you have monthlies here that are on a promotion until July timeframe where they're at annual rates during that time as well too. So just some intelligence around that. You get that at the top of the page as well too, just to help you track that as you move forward. From the PSA checklist perspective, it's really just check boxes that you can check off when you have events created in the PSA tool. It's not changing anything in your PSA tool, obviously, but these are just high level steps that you'll need to do with every customer, meaning that you need to update the agreement or contract terms. You need to close out the legacy line items or additions. You need to create the new NCE line items. And then overall, you just say that the PSA tool is kind of complete as a holistic checkoff point. So those are some of the big ones here. Once you're done with the company, you can come over and checkbox this uh, company complete, and that'll help you move forward as far as your progress goes. Back on the dashboard here, you have then updated stats as far as your cards goes. You see your customers migrated moved up because you just completed that company. You have your progress, and then you also have your calculated the next NCE renewal date with the days as well too, based off of those NCE products that you added. You also will notice that this diagram is now shown up, which reflects your term counts. And I just made this so I, it would be helpful to understand what your stratification of terms looks like at a high level across all of your customers for some insights. And then your customer table is also updated here based off of what you've selected. So you can get a quick snapshot when you scroll through your customers of the types of terms they're using, if PSA's done, if they've been part of a promo, their next NC renewal, if they're moving direct, things of that nature at a quick glance uh, versus having to sift through that data um, either manually or looking through various tools that you might do today. So if you click on another customer, let's just say that this customer is moving direct, you could select this moving direct, you could say I've updated their PSA, and now I'm gonna go ahead and complete this company. So if I go back to the dashboard again here, you'll notice that we've got two customers done. One customer is actually moving direct now, and this customer is completed with moving direct being true. So just a lot of organization here that I wanted to build in, a lot of tracking that you can help you out throughout the transition. I'm definitely looking for feedback uh, for the tool since this is the first iteration. I would like to expand on it from both a PSA and Microsoft perspective to provide more automation versus manual data generation. Um, when we talk about creating NC products, keeping up with their renewal dates and things of that nature. So if it does warrant adoption and it is valuable, I will take it in that direction uh, just to help supplement the things that are going on there. But always wanted to come out with something that I felt like provided a good amount of value that everybody could begin to adopt because it is a free tool to help you with the transition. Um, but again, any feedback, negative or positive, definitely looking to, to hear anything you guys have. So with that, that's all that I wanted to showcase in today's episode. Feel free to get signed up right away by going to nctrack.com. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.